All right, uh, today I'm going to show you a subunit I've started working with recently called, uh, or what I call, uh, Teardrop 2. So what you do is you start off with uh, a tin ball ring and you wrap around, but you don't wrap around completely. You get one ball short there and then you pinch it together and then you continue wrapping and the next one is going to be eight. So what you end up getting is a 10, 9, 8, and it sort of has a teardrop shape to it. And we're going to be uh, putting these into a pentagonal shape. So here's another 10. And wrap around almost to the end. So that's 9, pinch, wrap around again, and you have 8. So that's how you make the, the smallest subunit. What I do then is I take and pinch these. And you're going to have a ball sticking out this end and this end. And then you put them together. Now I've already made some others here, so I'm going to pinch again. And here we go, number four. And finally, number five. And we get this nice star shape, three high. <clears throat> and this can be put together several different ways. Uh, you can put it together like this, where the stars are pointing out. Or you can put it in like this and get more of a, a dodecahedron look to it. Now the interesting thing about this subunit is I went 10, 9, 8, but you can use any combination you want. You know, if you want to go uh, 7, 6, 5, uh, you can. Uh, also, there you can go more. So if you want to go like uh, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, then I've got some here to show you in a minute that uh, goes through that sort of variation. You can put these together in threes, you can put these together in fours, or you can put these together in fives. So there's lots and lots of variations. There's also another one which I'll dub a, a double teardrop, uh, but it goes like uh, eight, six, four, or ten, eight, six, something like that. And it makes a slightly different subunit that's really cool. So I'm going to go ahead and put these together. Uh, you need twelve of these all together for a dodecahedron construction. There we go, we got to push them together a little bit there. So we've got one half. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to throw a little flare into it. Uh, the majority of these are Zen magnets, but they're thinking about putting something out called Neo Balls with different colors. Blue, green, red, and yellow. So for the other half, I put a little blue accent in there to help out. There we go. As I'm sure you figured out, I'd already made these ahead of time. You gotta push them a little bit to get them to connect, but that's fine. You've got a little bit of flexibility to work with there. Let's put in the last one here. Again, you can push those in a little bit. So 
there we have uh, one side with some blue accents it looks very pretty this is sort of a rhombic shape when you get done here's the other side all Zen magnets on this side so again very cool <clears throat> as I said you can do something like this where you go you know 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5 so you've got a long tube and put those together like this makes a very pretty shape now I first put these together in threes and then those threes I put together into a six pattern well these threes can go together in a three pattern or they can go together in a five pattern and again lots of variety stuff to work with <clears throat> also mentions you could go eight uh, or excuse me uh, ten eight six tubes well these are the ten eight six tubes again a slightly different configuration put those together in threes and then sixes actually I made two of these and put them there so that'll stand on its own if you wanted to and let's put this back here put that back there here's our subunit so as you can see lots and lots of variety using these uh, tubes so use your imagination come up with something new I, I look forward to seeing some of your uh, builds out there with these uh, they photograph very well because they've got a lot of openings you can put some uh, light in there and get some very pretty uh, reflections so I hope you enjoy uh, let me know what you think of it have a good day